When we as God's children consider what it means for us to be a part of God's kingdom uh, and a part of God's kingdom of grace uh, through the church and the ministry of the church, where we receive God's good gifts of word and sacrament, uh, it, is, it is good for us to see that the end result of being a part of God's kingdom is, is that we will be a part ultimately of God's kingdom of glory. You see, the kingdom of grace is how God reigns in this earth through his mercy and through his gifts that are given to us through the church. God's kingdom of glory refers to the kingdom that is in heaven and the hope that we have as Christians that we will, when Christ returns, be gathered together into the people of God in God's kingdom of glory. St. Paul says with uh, quite a confident voice in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, Henceforth there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. St. Paul encourages us here uh, to allow the hope that we have of everlasting life with God to motivate everything that we do in this life. You know, the world that we live in has a very, I think, negative view of, of heaven and what that heavenly existence is going to look like. You think of those traditional portrayals of heaven as a bunch of uh, angels strumming their harps in the clouds, uh, these uh, bodiless spirits just kind of floating around in this ethereal existence. I don't think that's what we look forward to as Christians. Rather, what we look forward to is looking forward to an existence where we exist with these bodies and souls and minds in a place uh, where the difficulties of this life have been removed, uh, where uh, our human frailty, where our weakness, where our illnesses, where our diseases, where all of the bad stuff of this life is gone, and rather we live in a blessed state. But we have very real an important and good work to do in that kingdom of glory. And God has not uh, created us so that we would simply uh, be on his shelf like a trophy that he has won for himself. No, he's created us to know his love and to know his blessings and to do real work and to learn and to grow. And when we become a part of God's kingdom of glory, we will get to do all of those things in a wonderful way that we can't even imagine yet. And so as you think about heaven, it can be a scary thought sometimes. Um, I want you to think about the good things of this life. Think about family. Think about the time that you spend with your friends. Think about the things that you enjoy doing. These are the sorts of things that we're going to get to do uh, in heaven. Building real relationships with people that love us and appreciate us and respect us and doing the good work of God creating things that are, are not going to be destroyed by death or, or, or taken away from us, but rather investing ourselves in the eternal purposes of God that are so great, so wonderful, that we can't even imagine yet what God has prepared for us to do. But this is our hope, and this is what we look forward to, and this is God's people is what we want to share with other people as we share the hope that we have of everlasting life with Christ. Please pray with me. Dear Father in heaven, our minds are overwhelmed by thoughts of your goodness and love and the hope that we have of everlasting life. We can't even yet fully imagine what that means. But we pray that you would remind us every day of the hope that we have in you and that you would fill us with great joy as we uh, look forward to your appearing and we look forward to taking our place in your kingdom of glory because of the grace that we have received in your kingdom of grace uh, that is at work in the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings on your day.